Today's tutorial, we'll be learning how to make a structured gong sleeve. This sleeve has been trending for a while now, so if you are interested in this, keep on watching and let's get right into it. On top of the table, I have the necessary materials you'll be needing for this tutorial. I have my one yard of Ankara prints. I also have my one yard of lining and then one yard of collar stay. So this is the hard collar stay. You can also make use of the soft collar stay, but I recommend you use the hard one so your sleeve can stand properly well. I will also be making use of this um, hemming tape just in case the collar stay doesn't stick to the fabric because the gums we have on this collar stay at times does not stick properly to the fabric. I need to cut out both the sleeves together, so I'll be folding my fabric into four places, okay? So let me open it up so you see how I folded this. I folded into two, just like this. And what I'm going to do next is to fold again like this. Now, after folding it, I'll go ahead and start inserting my measurements. Now, first of all, from the top of my fabric, I'm going to go down to two inches and place a mark. Now, this two inches is going to serve as the fourth allowance because this sleeve is going to have gathers at the top. Again, from here, I'm going to now divide my bust circumference by 12 and add one inch for my cap height. So the bust circumference of this client is 49 inches. I'll divide it by 12 and I'll be having four plus one inch. I'll have five. So from here, I'm going to mark five, and this will be my cap height, okay? Now again, from here, I'm going to take it down to the length of my sleeve, okay? So the length of my sleeve here is 14 and a half inches. Now guys, after that, I'll come to this point, and I'll be inserting my sleeve measurement, which is my armhole divided by two and then i'll mark it out so my armhole is 23 inches divided by two i'm going to have 11.5 inches so i'm going to mark out 11.5 inches and then add one inch for sewing allowance now after that the next thing i'm going to do is go ahead from the top i'm going to go in by two inches and from these two inches i'm going to just connect like this can you see what i'm doing just connect like an X shape. Now, after that, you're going to have to measure to ensure that you have your sleeve measurement plus some inches, which are going to pleat. Okay, so you can see I have my sleeve measurements right here. So this is 11.5 inches and I have this remaining that I'll use to pleat. Now, after that, I'll move over to the length of my sleeve. And then remember that what I have here was 11.5 inches. So I'm going to minus one inch from here. And then I'll bring it down to this place. So I'm going to mark 10.5 inches and add one inch, okay? And then I'm going to connect like this. Now, after connecting it, I'm going to now cut it out, okay? So now, guys, you can see that with this, I have my two sleeve already cut out. Now, whatever I have on the actual fabric, I'm going to go ahead and cut it out on the lining. Also, my lining, I'm going to fold it into four. You can see. So I folded into two and I'm going to fold again. Now, here is the totally folded part. So I'm going to bring one of my sleeve and place it. And then I'll cut out. Now what I'm going to do next is go ahead and minus one inch from the hem of my sleeve. So I'll be going up from the hem by one inch.
I'm doing this because I want to be able to have a neat finishing at the damp part of my sleeve, okay? So that the lining will not be coming out after sewing this sleeve. Now, after this, I'm going to equally bring in my collar stay, fold it into four again, and then cut it out. Now, as you can see, I am done cutting out the collar gum, and I've also gummed it into the wrong part of my fabric. You can see. Now, if you take a look at this, I actually removed about one inch from the upper part, and then half an inch from the damp part, and also half an inch from the side, okay? So guys, next thing is for us to turn this over to the right side and then bring in my lining. Now here is my lining. I'm going to place the lining on top the right side of my actual fabric like this. And then I'm going to ensure that the right side of the lining is facing the right side of the actual fabric. And then first of all, I'm going to go stitch the down part like this. After stitching it, I will top stitch it, okay? So guys, as you can see, I am done sewing the down part with half an inch. You can see what the inside looks like. Now, remember to stitch this. You're going to place it on top the right part of the actual fabric and then stitch like this using half an inch. Now, after stitching it, you're going to turn it this way. And then you are going to bring the allowance to this part of the lining and then top stitch. Okay, so I've done that on this one. Let me show you what I mean by this. You can see I've done that on this one. I don't know if you can see that. Now, after stitching that, next thing you want to do is turn it like this. And then you are going to stitch using half an inch also on this part. And then after that, you turn it over to the good part. Now, let me go and do that and come here to show you guys what to do next. So, guys, I'm done turning it with the lining. Next is for me to fold it into two like this and then join the side seam. Now, if you want to join the side seam, you have to make sure that you don't stitch on top the collar gum inside, okay? So, the lining is transparent, so you'll be able to see the white collar gum inside. Now, follow the allowance that is left there to join the side seam. I'll move over to my sewing machine, join this, and come here to show you guys the next step to take. Now, guys, here is the sleeve. I am done joining the side seam, and this is what it looks like. Next thing I'm going to do now is go ahead, fold it like this, and from the center, I'm going to have to measure from here to here, five inches, okay? So from the center of my sleeve, I'm going to mark down to five inches. And then I'll turn to the other side and also mark down to five inches. Now, after marking this, I'm going to move over to my sewing machine, open it up like this, and then run a loose stitch from that point to the other point, and then gather it in the middle, okay? I'm going to ensure that after gathering it, I will have 11.5 inches as my armhole. I hope you guys understand because my armhole circumference is 11.5 inches. So I will go do it and come show you guys the next step to take. I've run the loose stitch and this is one of the rope. And this is the other side. Can you see? Now I'm going to hold one of it and keep pulling to the center on this side. Now, once I get to the center, I'm going to leave it and then pull the other one. So you can see what I have. This is what it looks like. You can see. Now, next thing I'm going to do is use my tape and I'm going to measure to ensure that I have my round armhole divided by two, which is 11.5 inches. Can you see? So here is the middle. This is the middle. And this is 11.5 inches. Now, what I'm going to do now is use my tight stitch to hold it in place. So I'll move over to my sewing machine and stitch it using a tight stitch.
and then come back here so that we can see it. So guys, here is my gong sleeve and you can see what it looks like. If I measure around the armhole, you will see that I have 11.5 inches, which is the round armhole of my sleeve. Okay. Now, next thing is for me to input the inner sleeve. So some people make use of a net. Some people make use of a lace, but I'm going to make use of a velvet. But it's still going to be a pencil sleeve. I've gone ahead to sew that off camera. So here is my pencil sleeve, which I'm going to use. So this is the actual size of our sleeve, which is the basic sleeve measurement. Okay. So guys, next thing is for me to go ahead and input the sleeve inside. So I'm going to push it inward like this. And then next, I'm going to ensure that the underarm of the straight sleeve is matching up with the underarm of my gong sleeve. And then I'm going to use my pins to hold it around. Now, I am done pinning it, so this is what it looks like on the inside. You can see. Now, I'm going to move over to my sewing machine, and then I will stitch using about a quarter of an inch, okay? So, guys, as you can see, I am done with the fixing of the pencil sleeve into the gong sleeve. So, you can see what I have. These are my two sleeves. And you can see how beautiful they are looking. This is what the inside looks like. Now, next thing I'm going to do is bring in the bodies so that we fix the sleeve into the armhole. Here is the bodies. And now you get to understand why I used a velvet for the inner sleeve. So I'm going to now move over to my sewing machine and stitch this into the armhole. Now, to stitch this, I'm going to ensure that the underarm as well matches up with the underarm of the gong sleeve and I'm going to sew it around the armhole. So guys, I hope you guys find this tutorial helpful. If you do, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed and turn on your post notifications so you get notified for whenever I upload a new video. Okay, so guys, I will see you in my next tutorial. Bye!